Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. I mean, if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Uh, make them unmanageable. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bat tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. You're a good man, Bruce. Please, Selina, I have to tell you how I... Bruce? Selena, I think you should get out of Gotham. It's not just Harvey. The children of Arkham are after you. It's not safe right now. Maybe you're right. Dropped your pen. That's not... Retribution, Bruce. Hey, I'm up. I'm up. And for Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? Is that... My blood? God, I hope it's mine. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. This can't be real. Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. Better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. 
course, I could make an exception for you. I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were revoked after you beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. <laughs> You're not buying your way out this time. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. You really don't want to do this. You don't know a damn thing about me, Wayne. I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. I don't really know what happened. This is all a blur. Seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? We just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. For There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. 
Oh. <laughs> Every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> you gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well... No! No! You, you, you need to let me go! I have to warn the President! You're trying to kill me! You don't know the President. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this! Stop! I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Just take another fight. Take good care of him. Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham, Bruce! Use that sick little imagination of yours! Murder, mayhem, carnage, the usual. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. His favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! The remote. One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? for this. Hey, uh, I was wondering about... It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't... It's not time I... for meds, either. Beat it. If that's the way the cookie crumbles... Cookie... Cookie crumbs! That's it! You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just... just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. I solved the cookie bill, not you. Sorry. Sorry. It's, it, it's just... It, it's his it's voice! It's driving... Sorry. I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? Cheats. Every
every time. She cheats. Sees what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater. I told you. If I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? Yeah. What? Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style. Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. I'm speaking as a... as a professional. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. Lewis! Hmm? What? No, that wasn't me. I, I, I'm sane, Lewis. What do you want? So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. What's that? Oh, no, 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 that's not polite at all. At all. <sighs> Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. Your key it didn't work. Of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it, though, didn't you? <laughs> That's... That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one... This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. <laughs> Double crossing, <laughs> two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Oh, well, you had a good run, right? Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television! Mayor on our frame page versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Ah! Oh, oh my god! Won't someone save my baby? This isn't a joke. Their war is going to destroy Gotham. That's what makes it so funny. All those people caught in the middle. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the, uh, lady. Right, Bruce? Wait. You know that Vicky is... Tell me what you know. You wanna find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Get your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, 
something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. It was just pump full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Don't try to make this about me. Of course it's about you, Bruce. This is all about you. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not going to do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... uh, assume I can take care of that. It's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? I'm not doing any favors for you, John. And here I thought we were getting along so well. We can keep working on our friendship when we meet again, can't we? All right, tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. This skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone get me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> <laughs> GCPD, 
Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. Huh, this might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now, and Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have to go. <laughs> oh, Bruce. I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show. <laughs> Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. If you're looking for who to blame, maybe start with the mirror, because you're the one that left violent psychotics unattended. Mr. Wayne, I understand you have been through a trying day, but that does not give you the freedom to criticize me or this facility in that way. Because from my perspective, my patients were fine until you went into that rec room today. One moment. Yeah. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Bruce, thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true, but I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! What was that about? <laughs> believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it... Certainly hasn't gotten any better. I don't care about public opinion. And neither should you, Al. Uh, I wish I could agree with you. But the more people call out for you to receive justice, the harder your other job could become. Selina? Uh, good to know Miss Kyle's keeping in touch from wherever she is now. In other news. If you've noticed the streets of Gotham have been a lot quieter recently, you're not alone. 
The GCPD has reported a sudden and steep drop in violent crime in the past few days, with the number of 911 calls falling off a whopping 60%. Many are attributing it to the decrease in the visibility of the terrorist group Children of Arkham, whose members seem to be taking some time off. Or maybe it's just our new Mayor Dent making good on his campaign promise to bring down crime in the city. Either way, the citizens are breathing a sigh of relief. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. We're done talking. What's going on here? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should've known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over, and then back up again, just to make sure it did the job! Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Back off! Back off, people! Bruce! Hey! Your father committed innocent people to Arkham and made sure they stay there for the rest hey, of their hey, lives! Keep back if you know what's good for you! Ram the barricade! This <laughs> isn't the Batmobile! Just do it, Alfred!
Roberts, huh? Oh, just get us home, Al. Fast. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. Bruce, you look awful. He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vell's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with the DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. do it. So this needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky... Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman! Trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I never trusted her. There was always something off. Your instincts are very rarely wrong, sir. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh... met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. 
I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Couldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect, thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. <laughs> I'm inside the Vale House. Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown? Nothing I can see. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. 
Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Here's Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Horrific! She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she- Alfred, I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir. Is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Hey, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. You, you, yeah? I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I, I heard someone say something. Something about drugs, fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who, because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because they're hidden here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you.
Get down. Are you safe? Were you wounded? I'm okay. <gasps> They're dead. Yes, they are. But you are not. You are still alive. And those emotions you're feeling, someday you'll learn how to use them. To channel them. You might not understand now, but someday it will make you stronger. I promise, I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman, and no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true, and I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not any more, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. So your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, meet me at the back computer. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get a closer look at you.
No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. EMP functionality is all in the green. It should have worked. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. I'm here, what's up? Take a look at this. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. I am so sorry, Bruce. If only I'd been at Wayne Enterprises. Maybe there was something I could have done. Oh, what a mess. With that sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Cut yourself some slack, Lucius. There's no way you could have known. I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls, but if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to I'm tired of being on the defensive. Why don't we attack him instead? I'm not sure, but I can certainly see what I can do. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is it? Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. <laughs> You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. Harvey is scared, paranoid, but he clearly views Batman in a favorable light. Then again, maybe talking to an old friend is what he needs. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way? Tonight? Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. <laughs>